We played Carmarthen last weekend and we had Barry Town United this coming Saturday. But in between we have a trip to Bangor tomorrow. Now Scott, you've already gone on record to say several times that the league is your number one priority, then the Welsh Cup, but also up there the Nathaniel MG Cup is a priority for you as well. It is because if, if you look at our record in, in recent years, we've been very successful. You know, winning it on several occasions, and um, you know, long way that continue. But it's it's one where the players that haven't had as many minutes as they would like will, will be get to given a chance. Whether that's starting, whether that's coming on from the bench, um, it's an opportunity to mix the squad up. However, um, I would have liked a few more players to be uh, available. Um, whether that's uh, coming back through injury or whatever, but it does certainly give some of the members of the squad some game time and some some much needed uh, some fitness as well because you know it's okay training but if you're not getting match fitness then uh, you will you will fall behind. Cardiff Met are the current holders of the trophy but the previous four seasons to that it was the New Saints who lifted the Nathaniel MG Cup. This is the first step of 2019-2020 to getting TNS's name back on the trophy. Yeah and um, if you look at where we're playing and the team are playing against a lot of history between the two clubs you know we've enjoyed um, enjoyed playing there you know, lovely surroundings the grounds uh, you know really really top for for the league they're playing in the, the pitch is always always very good so it will suit us um, and like I said it'll be a test for, for some of our players to go and show that you know they're they're more than capable of playing league games as well so I enjoy playing the cup games a little bit of a break from the league um, you do come across different opposition, so looking forward to uh, coming up against Bangor. Carrot for the boys is uh, a way tie against Bala in the next round if we can get through this one. As you've mentioned, lots of history between the New Saints and Bangor over the years, certainly been big rivals. In recent seasons though, we know the off-field issues that the club has faced, but on the pitch it will be a totally different side to what we've competed against in recent seasons. How have you been able to prepare for that challenge in the game itself? Yeah, um, Steve went to see them against uh, Conway, watched the game, so we've, um, we've made sure that we've, we've seen what that Bangor team are like and, you know, can they cause us a problem? Obviously, of course they can, because any team can if you're, if you're not right. Um, yeah, they've got some, some, some good players, the reports back were a comfortable team and, and some, some intelligent players, so we know how they're going to um, sort of line up and, and the players that can hurt us. Done our homework and we're looking forward to the game. On paper, the New Saints are favourites to win that competition or to win the tie, should we say, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But as we saw last season against Cambrian and Clidac, there are certainly surprises and potential banana skins along the way. How do you prepare the players themselves to go into that game against Bangor with the right mentality and approach? Yeah, you just use the... The right word there, the correct word, because mentality. It's, you know, if you look at our team, our squad against any other team or squad in the league, it's it's far superior. No one can say it's not. The problem we have is maybe um, don't take every game as a cup final, whereas the opposition do. You know, we're up there. We're we're there to be beaten. Everyone wants to beat us. Consistency in other teams' performances aren't always there. That's why they are. Um, either in the league below or below us in the league so it's matching the team's mentality it's matching the team's effort in the, in the early stages of the game and usually um, your technical and tactical ability comes through so you've got to look at it as any other game an important game and, and give the opposition the uh, respect they deserve and make sure that your head's on it because sometimes it's not and that's where you get caught out and finally, as we said at the start of the interview, we played Carmarthen last Saturday. We have Barry Town United this coming weekend. Are we therefore likely to see any surprises in the starting lineup, or will it be a case of wait and see? No, there's always uh, there's always a chance. I'd, with the squad we've got, you don't want to keep players out too long. 
Um, you know, you look at consistency as well. Have we had enough consistency in our play this season? Probably not. So, you know, players are not just going to stay in the team just because of what they've done previously. If you're consistent and you're doing well, um, you'll be given a chance.